Hi, this is Congressman Joe Courtney. I'm speaking to you from my office in the Rayburn Building in Washington, D.C. It's Thursday, February 7th, and um, I mention that date because um, it's an important day in Connecticut's history, which is um, um, a sad day because nine years ago, there was an explosion at a power plant under construction in the city of Middletown that took the lives of six workers, uh, injured dozens more, and um, again, it was an event that um, had a just shattering effect on uh, families uh, and individuals that um, still um, resonates today very powerfully. Uh, there will be um, an observance uh, of the clean energy power plant explosion, uh, I'm sure back home uh, in, in the Middletown area. It will bring together, again, the families of the victims. It will bring together uh, a lot of the workers uh, that uh, were colleagues of the decedents, and it also uh, will bring together leadership of the state to, again, reflect on the fact that um, you know a lot of folks who go to work every single day sometimes don't come home or sometimes come home badly injured and that uh, we must redouble our efforts uh, to make sure that uh, incidents of injury uh, and death, uh, which sadly is um, an occurrence that still exists today in the 21st century, um, is really reduced and hopefully eliminated to the greatest extent possible. So it's important that we observe their memory, but it's also that we important that we act. And today in Washington, uh, I will be introducing uh, legislation to respond to the events that took place in Middletown nine years ago, the Protect American Workers Act, uh, which will have uh, many co-sponsors, uh, will be introduced into the Education and Labor Committee, in which I sit, and it makes critical uh, updates and modernization to the Occupational Safety and Health Act, OSHA, which again, unfortunately, um, has really been neglected for decades and um, really desperately needs uh, to be um, change so that it really better reflects uh, the way our U.S. economy works in terms of production, manufacture, um, you know, just a whole host of areas um, that are far different than uh, the last time OSHA uh, was last legislated by the U United States Congress. Again, so in a nutshell, it basically um, allows the agency to move forward in a whole series of uh, regulatory um, updates so that um, different um, chemicals, different processes, uh, you know, different works um, methods uh, are better aligned uh, with a smart system of regulation, which is really focused on compliance, not uh, punitive measures. It's really about trying to make um, uh, workplaces safer and to reduce the incident of uh, illness and injury that sometimes occurs uh, because of the way work is, is organized. Uh, and again, that's the best way to observe uh, the memory of uh, people like Ronnie Crabb, who was a good friend of mine who lost his life in the clean energy uh, power plant explosion, just made you know, just a huge devastating impact on his family. Um, you know, they, their memory really deserves um, more than, than observance. It really deserves action uh, by us as a nation uh, to make sure that uh, events like that, uh, again, uh, don't occur or reduce to the smallest extent possible. So again, we are gonna take um, that memory of the folks that lost their lives and were injured that day nine years ago to the Congress, and we're gonna take it to the Education and Labor Committee, and we are gonna move forward to make sure that a long overdue update to OSHA uh, finally occurs. That's the best way that we can remember um, those folks who, uh, again, were just doing routine maintenance and cleaning work the day of that explosion. And uh, again, for folks back home, if you're interested in the details of that legislation, we welcome emails and calls, and we're happy to share that uh, well-crafted uh, piece of legislation with all of you. Thank you very much.